Hello, hello, hello. Welcome back to Lab 4, Part 3, or Part C. So here's where we are right now. Uh, I'm working on the basic tags. It looks like this. And now I'd like to talk to you a little bit about the weight, the size, and the style of a font. We're going to add that to the H2 selector. So let's go in here. Here we are, right where we were before. And I'm going to add font weight so we can talk about that. Font weight. Colon. So, uh, oh look, I spelled weight wrong, so it's giving me color. Isn't that weird? Weight. Colon. Still giving me color. Oh, because, look at this, I forgot the semicolon here. Got to watch out for that. Now let me type the colon again, and now we have some weights. So one of the things I want you to note is that we're working with an H2, which is by default bold. So we don't want to make it bold or even bolder, because it's already bold. But what we might want to do is make it normal. So let's type a semicolon. Let's not forget that again. Do a save. And now you can see my H2s are no longer bold which, to be honest with you, I think is a good choice. Right now, the headline chocolate cake really stands out. But with this not done, let me just comment in front of it. This is a great trick, by the way, is to just type a comment tag before and after something. So you can see what it looks like. Oops, I didn't save. Save. So you can see what it looks like without that change. So. Here it is without the font weight normal. And you can see these are, because they're colorful and bold, they're competing with this. And the way you work with your design sense is by saying, let the thing that needs to take precedent have it. Don't, don't make it compete. So I'm going to undo these because I like my font weight normal. Do a save. And there it is. Next. Let's talk about making something italics. So we could add that to this. And instead of font weight, the option to do something in italics is going to be font style. So font hyphen style. Let me just pause here. I'll choose italic and put in my semicolon and do a save and let you see it. But I want to pause and talk about your ability to memorize all these things. It's becoming a lot, right? Maybe you're keeping a little notebook. Oh, I'll try to remember that color means text color. I'll try to remember that font weight has to do with bold or not bold. I'll try to remember that font style is italics. It's going to become a lot. And I've actually, one of the things that we learn as educators is about something called the forgetting curve. And the forgetting curve, I actually looked it up here. The forgetting curve is talks about why you forget stuff that you're trying to remember and the importance of remembering. Uh, you don't have to read this whole website, but the point is that when you learn something right away, you retain it. Like perhaps right now you remember it. If you want something italic, you'll use the font style property name. However, you might not remember it 10 minutes from now and you might not remember it 15 minutes or two hours or two days. But what the forgetting curve explains is that memories, even though memories weaken over time, if you repeat them, so if you saw this have a little jag, a couple of little jags here, then the curve would flatten out. So one of the things you can do to remember these is practice, is practice, it's science. It makes a ton of sense too. And the text default size is 16 point. So maybe I would like to add to my body tag a font size. Did I put a semicolon? Yes. Font hyphen size. Uh, I could choose larger. I could choose smaller. I could choose a percent. I could choose many things here. But what I'm going to do is type my own. And I know that the default is 16 points, so let's look at that. 16px. Save. Oops. 
here when you're over here, refresh, no change. Let's change it to 18. Save. And did you see that change just now? It changed, actually, let me let you watch it change. I think I'll have to close this up here. So I'm going to change it to uh, 20. Did you see it change? What you may not have seen is that the ingredients, the H2, and the chocolate cake H1 changed with this change. The reason it did is because these, H2 and H1, are sized proportionately to the font size, the body font size. Remember the default is 16. I'm going to make this just 18 and leave it at that. So here you've learned something about font size, you've learned font weight, and you've learned font style. All right, upcoming will be more about fonts.